today we're using the mobile radar truck, which is a phased array system supporting an experiment by the University of Miami. They're looking at atmospheric conditions of the stratus clouds typically found off the Big Sur coast. And we were looking at the physics of the cloud and we were utilizing chaff and salt to be able to both look at the cloud and the salt to nucleate bigger droplets and initiate drizzle. The radar itself is a Army phased array system that we acquired from the Army back about 2000. We've taken the military system, we kept the military radar portion of it, and we got rid of their processor and their control. We have our processor here to um, basically collect and process the data, and then we have our GUI, all the controls for the radar is done from the laptop. So we've turned it into a very simple system. Grant you, this is not doing its military function. Navy uses a lot of the uh, older radars, so it's not anything new to work with something that appears to be old or outdated. What we're looking for is basically very typical data return that we would see on any PPI. We can see the aircraft, we can see when the aircraft has expended the chaff and when the chaff starts blooming, which the bloom rate and the drop rate of the chaff will depend upon, once again, the atmospheric conditions. For the mobile radar, it's a severe storm radar. XBN, you primarily get the best um, bang for your buck for the science, looking at phenomena that have a lot of scatter. A big thunderstorm has a lot of cloud droplets that will scatter X-band back. And so that radar is not really accessible to anybody else in the university world except for us. Being both a military organization, part of the Navy, and a university, we can go into the inventory, get it, modify it, and then work with other universities to bring a whole new capability to bear, which allows new types of measurements that just weren't possible before.